Hey guys, and welcome to the shack. So one of my friends has recently challenged me to do the ice bucket challenge, and I will comply, uh, but I'm going to try to incorporate some uh, lab safety into uh, the ice bucket challenge. So uh, the lab safety uh, procedures I'm going to uh, discuss in this video are spill control, um, especially spills on your body. I will do a video in the future on uh, cleaning up spills uh, on the ground or on the table, but today is just about protecting your body from chemical spills. So uh, I am going to demonstrate it, to, uh, demonstrate all the uh, safety shower and eye wash procedures to you guys, which I think you'll enjoy. Um, uh, but before I do that, I'm going to just uh, go over the entire process without dumping gallons of water on my head, and then I'm going to dump gallons of water on my head. So the first thing you want to do once you spill a chemical on yourself is come over to your drench bucket. This is just a five gallon bucket full of water. Um, you'll dump it on yourself, get rid of the most of the chemical uh, really quickly and really effectively. Now because I'm going to be using fake sulfuric acid as the chemical to spill on myself, I'm going to first neutralize it with baking soda solution, um, but that's just because it's an acid. Okay, so after you use your drench bucket, you're then going to go over to your eye wash. So um, once you get to your eye wash, you're just going to turn it on and wash your eyes for several minutes uh, and that will get the chemical out of your eyes. Obviously if you don't get anything in your eyes because you're wearing goggles because you're a smart person, you won't need to use your eye wash. Um, and I have to emphasize the importance of wearing goggles because if you get a bunch of chemicals in your eyes and on your body, you can only save one. So it's important to just wear goggles on your eyes. You can't wear body goggles, unfortunately, so uh, it's best to just have your eyes okay and then just have to clean it off the bottom. All right, so after you uh, use the eye wash, you're then gonna go over to your hose, and this will get the remainder of the chemicals uh, off of your body that the drench bucket did not manage to clean off. Okay, so once you get to your hose, you're going to turn it on. And then you're going to come over and just continue washing off the remainder of the chemicals from your body. Um, it's great to get an attachment uh, because it's a lot more powerful uh, than just the, the hose by itself. Okay, so here's my 98% sulfuric acid. And I'm just going to, oh no, I got it all over myself because I'm not wearing a lab coat. And oh no, I got it in my eyes because I decided not to wear goggles because I'm a stupid person. So first I'm going to come over, get my neutralizing bucket. This is a sodium bicarbonate solution. I'm going to dump it all over myself. That'll neutralize the sulfuric acid. All right. Next, I'm going to come over this. Um, and because you're not, uh, because you're a very forgetful person, you forgot to fill this with ice. So you're going to go do that right now. <laughs> All right, so now we have our drench bucket, and unfortunately, unfortunately, I'm gonna pour this all over myself. You better not miss this one, because I'm not doing this again. Oh God, I'm scared. Okay, go. Oh, that's cold. Oh my God, woo! Jeez. Oh, oh my God, okay, okay, I'm good. All right, so now that we did that, we're gonna go over to the eye wash, so follow me. Alright, now I still got some pure gas all over my body. That didn't wash it all off, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to do my eye wash for like for real for real quick, I'm probably not even a minute. Uh, and then um, I'm gonna have to go over to my hose. So you wanna turn it on, turn on the eye wash function, and stick your eyes in. Now you wanna pull your eyes back like this. Uh, pull your eyes up because your eyes will naturally be closed when they get a bunch of water in them. So stick them in. Um, and if your eye wash can't wash both eyes at the same time, you'll have to alternate real quickly like I'm doing. Just alternate. Um, and it's a good practice to look up, down, and uh, left and right while you're washing your eyes. Um, and this will get all sides of your eyes at different angles. So keep washing. All right, I got that. Feels terrible, but sulfuric acid feels worse. All right, so now I'm gonna come over to my hose. So then you're going to come over and turn it on. 
and just keep pressing. Oh my god, this is cold too. Ugh. Why do we? Why do we have like ice cold water coming into our hose? Oh, this is terrible. Okay, but yeah, but you get the idea. Just keep washing it. Um, if if this was, um, if this was for real, you take your shirt off and probably your pants too. Uh, so that way, uh, it, they don't adhere to your skin and uh, like press the chemicals against your skin. So you're gonna keep uh, just rinsing your entire body. You'd probably take off your shirt. Uh, I'm not gonna take off my shirt for the sake of viewers watching this video. But anyway, you're just gonna keep rinsing um, all parts of your body. Uh, get everything off. Um, you need to keep rinsing. All right, um, so after that's done, we're gonna go back to the eye wash and keep rinsing out our eyes. <laughs> Okay, so keep rinsing out your eyes because um, you still have sulfuric acid in them because you decided that you're too cool to wear goggles. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that water was really cold, so um, I'm going to take the rest of this sulfuric acid, pour it over my body, and it, that'll react with the residual water and uh, heat me up. Oh, uh, yeah, it feels good. Sulfuric acid. Oh, uh, yeah, that... My nose burning? Nah, I can't do it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, be safe. Make sure um, the stuff I outlined in this video is really the bare minimum in the scheme of lab safety. Um, uh, but feel free to add anything else that you think would be helpful in uh, reducing exposure to chemicals or cleaning up spills. Um, freaking cicadas! Are those even cicadas? Anyway, um, as I was saying, feel free to add anything else that you think uh, would help reduce risk of chemical spills. Um, so I'd like to tag two people. Uh, first is my chemistry teacher, Miss Bell, uh, and next is uh, my best friend ever in the history of the world. Not really. Jeremy Long. Have fun, Jeremy. Just kidding, Jeremy. I love you. All right, I have, you guys I think I have 24 hours to respond. Is that right, cameraman? 24 hours? Yeah? Um, so get to it, or else you will feel my scientific wrath. Rah. Not really.